Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these are two squares, A, B, C, D, and the other square, D, E, F, G, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, segment uh, H, B is uh, three units, whereas uh, this segment uh, C, G is uh, five. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region, so therefore according to this uh, given equation, the green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, square DEFG minus uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, blue area and uh, this uh, area of this uh, square uh, DEFG as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these uh, two angles uh, are going to be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, is uh, alpha in this uh, triangle. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle uh, has got to be our angle uh, beta. And furthermore we know that this angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And in this uh, triangle uh, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle uh, has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, DCG and this other uh, triangle uh, HBG are uh, similar triangles according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion that means the ratio of uh, these uh, two sides. Let me go ahead and write down the ratio of uh, CD and uh, BG is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, C, G and uh, H, B. Let me go ahead and write down uh, C, G divided by H, B. And now we know our uh, C, G length uh, is uh, 5 and uh, H, B length uh, is uh, 3. As you can see in this uh, next step, and since uh, we have these uh, ratios equal, so therefore uh, I can uh, write uh, this one as uh, I can say C D equals to 5 times uh, some constant K and uh, B G is uh, going to be 3 times some constant uh, K as well. And now we are going to solve for uh, K value. So therefore our this uh, side uh, CD turns out to be 5 times K and this uh, segment uh, BG is uh, 3 times uh, K. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, square ABCD has all uh, equal sides. If this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 5K then uh, this uh, BC length is going to be 5 times uh, k as well. And we also know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, BC is going to be 3k plus uh, 5. So therefore we can write uh, 3k plus uh, 5 uh, equal to 5k. Uh, Let's subtract uh, 3k from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, 2k turns out to be 5. Let's divide by 2. So therefore our k value turns out to be 5 divided by 2. So therefore this side length BC is going to be 5 times k means 5 times 5 divided by 2. That is going to give us 25 divided by 2. And likewise this segment BG is a 3k. So this is going to become 3 times k value is 5 divided by 2. So that's going to give us 15 divided by 2. 
So that's the side length of this square A, B, C, D turns out to be 25 divided by 2. So therefore, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square A, B, C, D. Now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S is the side length 25 divided by 2. So therefore, the area of this square A, B, C, D turns out to be 25 divided by 2 whole square that is going to give us 625 divided by 4. So thus the area of this square A, B, C, D turns out to be 625 divided by 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle D, C, G whose side lengths are 25 divided by 2 and 5. And we are going to calculate this side length D, G. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 25 divided by 2 whole uh, square plus uh, b is uh, 5 square equal to c square. Let's simplify. This could be written as 625 divided by 4 plus uh, I can write this thing uh, 25 divided by 1 equal to c square. And if we simplify each and every step uh, our c square value turns out to be 725 divided by 4 where we can see that this uh, c is the side length uh, of this uh, bigger square DEFG. So therefore the area of this uh, square DEFG turns out to be 725 divided by 4 since the area of a square formula is uh, S square. So therefore the area of this uh, another square DEFG turns out to be 725 divided by 4. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, blue shaded uh, area is equal to this square ABCD area minus the area of this uh, triangle uh, DCG and then minus uh, this another uh, triangle uh, HBG. And we can see that the area of this uh, square ABCD is already known to us. So therefore we are going to calculate uh, the triangle area for this one and this another uh, triangle uh, area. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, DCG. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case for this uh, triangle uh, our base is uh, 25 divided by 2 and our height uh, is uh, 5. So therefore the area is going to be a half times 25 divided by 2 times 5. So therefore if we simplify that turns out to be 125 divided by 4. And likewise the area for this other right triangle HBG is going to be a half times our base is uh, 3 and our height uh, is uh, 15 uh, divided by 2. Let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us uh, 45 divided by 4. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, now the area of this uh, blue region. We know that this is equal to the area of the square ABCD which is 625 divided by 4. The area of this uh, triangle DCG which is 125 divided by 4 and minus uh, the area for the triangle HBG is 45 divided by 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, 625 divided by 4 minus 125 divided by 4 minus 45 divided by 4. So therefore if we simplify everything area of this blue region turns out to be 400 
55 divided by 4 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region uh, turns out to be 455 divided by 4 square units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. And we know this is equal to the area of this square uh, DEFG minus uh, the area of the blue region. And we know that the area of this uh, square uh, DEFG is uh, 725 divided by 4. And the area of this uh, blue region is uh, 455 divided by 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the green uh, region area is going to be 725 divided by 4 minus 455 divided by 4. And if we subtract this thing, that is going to give us 270 divided by 4 square units. And that is going to be equal to 67 point five square units. So thus the green shaded region area turns out to be 67.5 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.